Welcome back to the God's Trinity podcast hosted by Mike and Brandon. And today we're going to be talking about Genesis. I'll let you lead on with the first thoughts. Okay, what I'll do is just first start off reading um, the King James Version of Genesis, explaining uh, the content of Genesis. It says, the first book of Moses called Genesis, Genesis meaning beginning, was written by Moses and records and records the stories of Adam and Eve, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph, tracing the story of human history from the beginning of time to about 1700 BC. The probable time of Joseph, it is impossible given our present knowledge to assign definite dates to the events prior to Abraham but many Bible scholars think Abraham's date is approximate, approximately 2000 to 1900 BC a time when the great pyramids of Egypt were already hundreds of years old the book of Genesis provides indispensable information for understanding the meaning of human life and history. Its most valuable insights are the entire universe owes its existence to a wise and powerful powerful creator. Number two, human evil stems from the refusal of the first humans to obey the rules of the creator. Three, God preserves knowledge of truth and rightness by separating one man and his descendants from the rest of corrupted humanity. And that's it? That's it. So, the, you know, wait, what, so what can you take off out, out of that little um, paragraph explaining what's going on in the background of the story? Okay, the, the first first thing is first is that the, the universe, the earth, and man is the first thing that this is going to go over. It's, that's what it's saying. So, mm-hmm. And that's going to be from chapter 1, verse 1 through 2 through 25. Yep, and another real important thing that I think it talks about is the first, the very first disobedience and what stemmed in helping everything that happened, like, um, chronologically up to today. Exactly. So, that's why I feel like this, um, the beginning of sin and everything like that is real important to go over. Just to, just so you can identify just temptations and stuff like that. So, yes. let's go ahead and start reading. Okay, okay, uh, chapter one. It's going to go from, let's see where it's going to go from. Chapter 1 is going to go, chapter 1 through 31. It's going to take us all the way to um, the end of chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. And let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament. From the waters from which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. And the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, would you like to talk about what I've read so far before I go further? Uh, Yeah, I actually would. So when it came to God just saying, let there be light, that just shows how important 
word is inside of the Bible, like his actual words was able to instantly manifest all of what we see today, which is why I feel what you say in general is shit like it should it shouldn't be taken lightly because like you know like any anything can happen and you feel like and and like ties in with thoughts but word i feel is real important i agree i agree so what you what did you take from out of that the same thing words are very important in this case god's word was so powerful that when he spoke it it came into existence mm -hmm. so if we not if when we speak we need to be very careful choose our words wisely and be uplifting uplifting and encouraging one towards another mm -hmm. and speak Pleasantry. Yeah, and positivity because that stuff is going to manifest inside of what's going on right now. You feel like you're not where you need to be. Uh, like, just watch what you say and what you think. Exactly. Because you can't manifest that onto your life. Just, just depending on your thoughts and, you know, and another way to clear of all that, clear yourself of that negative thinking is just speaking with God. Amen. And that, that'll that help you to switch everything around, in my opinion. Yeah, put some scripture inside to yeah. start just memorizing mm -hmm. scripture and speak pleasantries into your life positivity into your life you don't if you want good things to come to you speak good things and understand that when you speak negative things that you're speaking that into your life so mm -hmm. be careful of what you speak yeah because um, the bible it just showed um basically how we'll just put this chapter right now it just showed basically how how positive words can affect because God used his words to, you know, manifest like the world. Amen. So I feel like it's just as destructive if you use your words in a negative manner. So always be choosy with your words. Let's go ahead and keep on going. Okay. And God called the firmament heaven and the morning were the second day. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear and it was so and god called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters called he sees and god saw that it was good and god said let the earth bring forth grass the herb yielding seed and the tree and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb, yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so you want to speak on that no i feel like we should just go chapter by chapter okay because it's just going over just yes. the creation of what he said and God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life. And fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which 
the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And God said, that, said Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beasts of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Let's speak on this um, verse 26. Genesis 1 verse 26. It says, let me repeat it again. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Yeah, you can go ahead and um, talk about that. I, I personally wanted to um, just just take everything to the side. I heard somewhere it was like he wanted all of his creation to be fruitful and multiply. So what I got from out of that is uh, God is always working in your favor to make sure everything you got going on is doing good. The only person that can stand in the way of that is you at the end of the day. That's what I had got from that. So Okay, but well, my you, point is what he, right here for verse 26 is and God said, let us make man in our image. Who is us? Mm. In our, oh, wait, read it again. Verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. I'm not sure. What you think? God, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ. Mm. Yeah, the Trinity, God's Trinity. <laughs> Y'all subscribe. Yeah. So, so he said, so right there, God, this is when God created the heaven and earth. Yeah. Then he said, and God, and then God said, let us make man in our image. So the first thing coming to mind is who is us? Who is us? Um, we gonna make in. And another thing I get from that is, if God made us in His image, what's wrong with it? the way we look? Nothing. You know, we always talking about somebody ugly. Yeah. We always talking about somebody the way somebody look. And we always trying to change our appearance. All that makeup, all that illusion paint. Wigs that's going and on. Weave and why well, we can't be, just be pleased with the image God gave us, His image. Know. Why we can't just be satisfied, content with what God give us? God said that is not your real hair. It's the horse for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Just all that stuff was just adopted through social media instead of the commandments, like we were talking about in our past series. Instead of that being passed along, we got makeup and that passed yeah. along instead, stuff like that. You think makeup was back then? Um, probably some form of it. I'm not sure. Makeup was back then. Yeah. They had like makeup. What? They had makeup, they had lashes, they had wigs, weeds. Well, that was everything. probably going on in that uh, city that God had burnt down. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah. 
Yeah, they, everything we do in there is old. Nothing is new under the sun. Yeah. Nothing is new under the sun. So it has always and, been wrong. So we, from from the beginning of sin, we've been sinful, and and this is what it is. But I just I, I just when I read this, this is what comes to mind. Yeah. Why can't we be? If God made us in His image, then our image should be perfect. Who yeah. we look like when we look in the mirror, we should see perfection. Mm -hmm. If we look if we look like God, we ought to be bam. Yeah, one hundred percent. But as we're gonna read um a little bit down the line, sometimes that's just not enough. <laughs> and then people be yeah, hey, people always want more, even though they already got a lot. So he he made us in his image after his likeness. And then he said, Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. So we are in charge. As men, as men and women of this earth, we're in charge of the fish of the sea and the fowl of the air, the cattle, and over all the the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. We're in charge of that. That mm -hmm. belongs to us. And he didn't say it belongs to some, and some it doesn't. Among everybody. Everybody um was up under the sun. Yep. If you breathing and living, you a man or male or female, this belongs to you. Mm -hmm. So I ain't talking about somebody's property that they done purchased. I'm talking about in the free land of the earth, which there I don't think there is any today. Uh, it is, but it's all mental. Yeah, <laughs> you exactly. Got money and stuff. Exactly. So people won't be coming through stealing. Exactly. So all that. So that, that's how that's it's supposed a, to be. This is loaded. Uh, verse six is. I'm sorry. Verse twenty uh, one twenty six is really loaded. We yeah. got God, and 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 He done made man in His image and His likeness and, and their likeness because. He say, let us. Yeah, in our image, yeah. Exactly. So, the, I just wanted to, to stop and... um. Yeah, digest some, that. Yeah. So, what chapter are we on right now? We're still on chapter 1, and we're on verse 27 now. So, we're probably going to do like one per uh, video. Yeah. Because we already run into like the uh, 17 minutes and 48 marks. So, okay. let's just go ahead and keep on going. Okay. So, so, verse 27 says, So, God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing fruit which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you it shall be for meat, and to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat. And it was so. And God saw everything that he made, that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. That's the end of chapter one. Would you like to talk about what we just read? Yeah. Yeah. Um. So what? So a couple of things that I think are the highlight of this episode. Episode, but this chapter, I say is just the power of word, and mm -hmm. what we supposed to do. Basically, well, not what we're supposed to do, but what we were given. Yeah. So, what you think was the little highlights of this I, uh, chapter? I think that God really put some effort on us. Yeah. 
through his love for us, he gave us, he, he took the time out to create a whole earth for his people mm -hmm. that he, want, he created to be a perfect people. And then after he created all of this beauty for us, he created us. And then when he created us, he loved us so much that he created us in his image mm -hmm. to look like him, to walk in his likeness. And then he gave us dominion over Everything. all of this. Yep. All this earth, he gave us dominion that we could be in charge of, to take care of, to live in. And it was a perfect place. It was a perfect place and we were a perfect plate people looking with the likeness of our creator. Mm -hmm. So we should be a content people, you know, filled with love. And we should be giving that love one to another. You know, yep. we should be we should be giving the same love one toward another as our father who created us gave us. And it just, it just makes me, it just makes me think on how God must feel when he look at his people. We over here getting all kind of plastic surgery. Yeah, how do you feel about what's going on hair. today based on what he already had planned out for, for us. us? Yeah, yeah, he looking at us like we're not satisfied with nothing not we not a satisfied with the our appearance and we look like him we're not satisfied with the the earth he gave us oh. we a couple of people want to be in charge of everything they don't want to share we don't it, it's just to me it's a mess and yeah. that's where prayer come in and we need to pray and, 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 and then the Bible down the road to say and some things you have to fast and pray. Yeah. So Yeah, and then the thing is it's never too late. Because if we just look at ourselves individually and make that change, that's the more help that's the most help to take that step forward than we can ever do. Exactly. And and step out of the world and how to, what we think the world think we should look like and just get into the word and be and and put on some knowledge some understanding and knowledge and and and, and start thinking about oh, wow god created me in his image if god created me in his image i must be perfect mm -hmm. i must god is perfect god is his image is everything you know what i'm saying because he created yeah. us in his image we may look at one another and say we look different or whatever, but actually we, we all got look, one. Yeah, we all we, look like God. You yeah, know, all one creator from one one source. Exactly. So, I just think we should um, go forward and just just think about that. Yeah, and just think just think about what you're reading. Try to digest that. You sometimes know. we need to be, just be content with what we see in the mirror. Be content with our lifestyle. You know, and if we're not content, then what what would God want for us about reading the word and getting the under this understanding and knowledge from the word? You know, or am I living my life because of what the Joneses has? Am I am I basing my life on that or am I basing my life on my own goals purpose and everything and you got going on because God give us all a gift we all have a gift from God am I using my gift do I even know what my gift is yeah. I need do I need to be praying about what my what the gift is that the Lord has for me with what I'm supposed to be doing for the Lord because sometimes your gift could be prayer praying for people Am I praying for people every day like I'm supposed to? Because prayer is powerful. And God said, when two or more are gathered in his name, there shall he be also. But I'm going to pray for you by myself. And that could be my gift as an individual from God, just to pray for people. 
He might give a yearning in my heart at a certain time of the day or, or the wee hours of the morning, wake me up, tell me to get up and pray for somebody. Then I need to get up, get and on my obedient. knees yeah. and pray for that person or just pray in general because God's saying that he needs me to pray. And that's going to help somebody. But we may not know who that is. It don't matter. Just yeah, let's slow down because I feel like we just um crossed by a gym. If you don't know what your purpose is, you need to find that out now. Exactly. Like it's never too late. It's never none of that. Cause you know most people they still out there. They don't know what they are supposed to be doing, and the quicker they find that purpose, the better off they'll be. Exactly. The more happier. Cause then, you know, you so busy worrying about what somebody else doing, <laughs> you have no idea what's going on. Exactly. So exactly. yeah, I just wanted to um re reiterate on that. Yeah, so because that was real important. Yeah. Because sometimes we think that um our gift is some great thing. It, all of our gifts are a great thing because if everybody put in forth their gift, then that means everybody's being obedient and mm -hmm. we're working to the good of God. But how do we go about finding out what our gift is? Just prayer, fasting, like you said, just trying to figure out what you have more of an affinity for because that just goes apart. What do you like doing? Exactly. Like, what um, makes you happy? Exactly. And that's all God literally wants. Just something, just for you to have a life where everything is at your disposal and you can just create. That's it. That's it. That's it. Because you're, what, what God has given you, it comes to you easy. It comes very easy. And it's not something that's hard. It's not something that you don't like doing. It's something that you enjoy, something that you enjoy doing. And it's not evil. It's not something that's evil. Mm -hmm. It's always going to be something positive, something uplifting, something that makes you feel good inside your heart, inside your mind. You're going to know that this gift is from God and yeah. you won't mind doing it. Mm -hmm. So just finding that thing, it, it, which is important, and then when you find it, you know exactly how to pursue it. Exactly. And, and by if the you time, don't mm -hmm. pray about it, pray and ask the Lord to guide you, to give you some understanding and knowledge and guidance and, and show you what to do. Yeah. And he will do that. It will come to you. You won't have to. You'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah, and I feel like how, like. 100% of the time, this might be right in front of you without even knowing. Exactly. You just got to have the eyes to see it. Instead of having your eyes, like we said, on Instagram, looking at what other people got. And looking in the world. You need to come bring it all in to prayer and just meditate in the Lord. And then as you meditate in the Lord and just freeing your mind up of worldly things, then the Lord will start showing you in your mind or in or your dreams, what it is that he has for you. Or he'll yeah. put you in a situation where you can, you'll be like, oh, I enjoyed this. This is, I like this. this yeah, is and good. then you have an epiphany. Oh, this is what I'm here to do. Exactly. But you got to, you got to be able to get in that position. You got to be able to get, go out. And, yeah, your mind got to be right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, and then I'd say that was more on the um, you know, what God gave gave us and set out for us to do, and the word that ties in um, what we're talking about as well, because if you um, if most of your words are positive, praying prayer, which I feel like are the most important words, where you ask the Father what you need in that in that point in time, and ask Him not to do it inside your time, but to do it inside His time frame. Because we don't serve a late God. He always going to be on time with what we need. Amen. Because what you're asking for, it might not be coming immediately because he know you're not ready for it yet. So don't ever get discouraged if something don't happen fast overnight. Nothing that's good comes fast overnight. Amen. You, Amen. You like, because if you did get that, God sees that that wouldn't be the right path for you. You're you going to look, because if you got it that fast, you're going to look past him. Like completely, exactly. people will get what they want and then act like they don't know God afterwards. Right. Like, and that's just not how I feel like it's supposed to be. But we coming up on a uh, thirty minute mark, so 
This is the God's Trinity Podcast. Y'all subscribe. Tell us um how you felt about the podcast today. Tell us um some topics that we could talk about. And just comment in. Express how you feel about um what we talked about today. This is uh Mike signing out. And Grammy.